So the biggest tournament since the US Open coming up next week, Guadalajara in Mexico. It's a WTA 1000 event. It's actually a new 1000 event, only a, two, a couple of years old now, the second edition this year. We have some big names playing, but we have a lot of players that are not playing this event, maybe because of fatigue from the US Open. Let's go have a look at who's not playing. Some huge names not playing. Starting with Paola Badosa, she's not playing for the rest of the year. Coco Goff also pulling out of this one. Of course, just won the US Open, so maybe no surprise there. Jessica Bagul is not playing the defending champion, which is a little strange that she wouldn't want to come and defend her title here. Igish Fiontek, she's pulled out. She needs some more rest after a long, long season so far. And Alina Rabakina, the latest to withdraw from the tournament. No reason why she's withdrawing, but I guess same as everybody else, maybe just wants some extra break after the US Open. And of course, with the Asian swing coming up, maybe that's another reason why she's looking forward to that instead. Okay, so let's have a look at the draw here. We have 16 seeds in this one and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Onsja Burr, she is the number one seed for this tournament. She gets a buy in the first round. She will take on either Parks or Davis in the second round. Then you got to qualify versus Trevison. Winner of that will take on either Chirico or the number 15 seed Paulini in the second round. Then you've got a Dadj Meyer, the number nine seed versus Danielle Collins. What a first round that's going to be. Collins in a little bit of form and a Dadj Meyer, we know how good she can be. So that's a blockbuster first round there. Winner of that will take on either Dolhide or Stearns in the second round. Then you've got Osorio taking on Frere. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed Alexandrova who gets a buy in the first round. So interesting matchups, of course, without the big, huge names. You know, no Sabalenka, no Sviantek, no Goff, Pagula, Rabakina. Jabur is the top seed, so it is a little bit different, but still, Dadj Meyer, Collins, Jabur, of course. Alexandrova can be in good form as well. She's been pretty good at times this year, so it is an interesting little section of the draw there. Next section of the draw, we've got the number four seed, Madison Keys, coming off the semi-finals of the US Open. Gets a buy in the first round here. She'll take on the winner of Navarro, who's taken on a qualifier in that first round. Then you got Fernandez taking on another qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Vic Meyer or the number 13 seed, Mertens, in the second round. Then you got the 12th seed, Kalanina, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Kennan or another qualifier, so a lot of qualies in this section of the draw. Then you've got Kostruk versus Fung. Winner of that will take on the number six seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. This is probably the most stacked part of the draw. Of course, Ostapenko in some good form, beating Sviantek a couple weeks ago at the US Open. We've got Keys, who made the semifinals of the US Open. Fernandez has been good. Mertens, Cannon, all players that should be watching out for. So this could be the hardest section of the draw. And of course, this section will take on the Jabur section. So we could be getting Jabur versus Keys if we're going to go by the big names. We could be going Jabur versus Ostapenko. If we want to go a little bit more with something a little different, or maybe even more different, we could be going Hadaj Maya versus Keys, or even Hadaj Maya versus Ostapenko. This does feel like a bit of a round of Masters with not many players in the draw in that good of a form. Maybe Keys being the exception and Ostapenko. But bottom half of the draw now, we've got Kudamatova, the seventh seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Zara Zuhar or the wildcard Bouchard, who's coming into this one. Then you've got to qualify versus Jastrzemska. Winner of that will take on either Montgomery or the number 10 seed as a rank in the second round. Then you got the 16th seed, Pushkiewicz taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Baptist or Fernandez Oliveras in the second round. Then you got Sastovich versus Rus. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Garcia, in the second round. Garcia, of course, not in great form this season. Kudamatova has had her moments. Interesting section, you know, Pushkova as a ranker. Maybe they could surprise in this section. Sastovich can do damage. So this section's really, really open and maybe produces a bit of a surprise. And then the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number five seed, Bencic, gets a buy in the first First round. She will take on the winner of Tomanovic or Townsend in the second round. Great first round there. Then you got Stevens taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Arango or the number 11 seed Potapova in the second round. Then you got the number 14 seed Sharif taking on Georgie. Very fun first round. Winner of that will take on either Mladenovic or Buxa in the second round. Then you got Hunter versus Shemenovic. Winner of that will take on the number two seed Maria Sakri, who made the final here last year. So again, pretty wide open. You know, Bencic, Sakri being the two big names. You know, Stevens has been good at times. You know, Townsend could be good. But we know what Tom Anovich can do. Even Georgie could maybe surprise. And Potapova's been in some form too. So interesting section of the draw. Of course, this section takes on the Garcia section, so it could be Zachary Garcia. Very unlikely to happen, but it could happen. <laughs> Uh, this year, both of those players have not been great. Or it could be Sakri taking on Kudamatova if we're going to go by some different names. Maybe even Sakri versus Azarenka. We could be going Bencic if you want to replace Sakri. Bencic with Azarenka. Bencic versus Garcia. Maybe even Bencic versus Kudamatova. But again, it's so random because we don't have those solid names that we're so used to seeing this year playing this event. So anything could really happen and anybody can win this. I don't think it's just one of the top 10 players that could win this. Anybody in this draw could win this event. So you have it. Guadalajara, not the same with without the big names, you know, no Sviantek, no Sabalenka, no Rabakina, Goff's not there, Pagula's not there, uh, even, you know, some players like Mukova and Von Drusova are not
not playing. So without them, it even looks a little bit worse. But I mean, look, Jabur's there, Zachary's there, who haven't been having the greatest of seasons. I know Jabur did make the women of final, but on the hard courts, hasn't really been the same. You know, Garcia's had a terrible year. Is this the time where she finally regroups and can get a good late season run to get to the finals potentially? Uh, Ostapenko's been okay. Keys is probably the most informed player in the draw. Is she going to win here in Guadalajara? But let me know down the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? And how do you think this tournament's going to be? Do you think it's going to be as exciting as previous Masters? But there it is. Guadalajara draws out now. Not the same as what we're used to seeing at this level this year.